Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And this video right here is about stop guessing about people that put you in a position that you have to second guess them. Now, I know that sounds like an oxymoron. That sounds crazy because we utilize the term guessing twice or guess. But for the most part, here's the thing. Let me separate it. Let me make a disclaimer, right? It's okay to have somebody that's in your life that you know that's for you. So the things that you're guessing can actually be factual. You know what I'm saying? Like you send them to the store or something like that. Sometimes their characteristics may allow them to not pick the right box of cereal or something like that. But at least whatever that you're getting ready to come up with and guess in your mind about them is something that's factual. See, when you have individuals in your life that you constantly have to second guess, you don't know what's going on with them. Nor do you have them in a position that you can judge their characteristics and, and still whatever that you guess can still be factual. So keep this in mind. So we're going to talk about stop guessing about individuals that make you have to constantly second guess them in some way shape or form because here's the thing right nine times out of ten these individuals has certain things that's going on in their life and here's the thing you might jump into a relationship with this individual or group of individuals right pertaining to what you got going on and then as soon as you start to develop this second guessing energy here's the thing it's always because this person may not be or this group of individuals may not be a hundred percent and whatever that you got going on and you may be a hundred percent and what they got going on and here's the disclaimer right here here's the behind the scenes natures that you may not be understanding see it they might have things going on that see for them to fully commit to whatever that you got going on, a lot of things that they got going on will have to come with it. And here's the thing. The things that they got going on might not be sufficient or applicable to whatever that you got going on. So therefore, these individuals know better than you do. Besides you sitting around thinking that a person may not be 100% um, back in supporting your goals um, as much as you back in uh, support their goals in some way, shape, or form. So you see what I'm saying? So for the most part, this is an individual that have put you into a position where you constantly have to second guess them. And I'm telling you right now, you no longer necessarily have to second guess them. You just need to know that they uh, that's not going to be the right individuals or individual to support whatever that you got going on and they just know something that you don't know and for the most part you don't want to you don't want to go any deeper into that because whatever that you discover may be something that you didn't want to discover in the first place anyway because it may even cloud your judgment by the uh, uh, about the individual or group of individuals in a whole broader scale you see what i'm saying so for the most part you know what i'm saying they say when, uh, when it comes to being naive or not naive but when it comes to you know what i'm saying being unaware um a lot of times there's a gift, there's a jewel in there because you can still be childlike when it comes to that imagination that's not so foggy and dirtied up with ham energy and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? But for the most part, here's the thing. You know, being around individuals that you constantly have to second guess, it doesn't even have to necessarily be like that also. Um, it could, it could be on another end. See, a person always is always going to lead to an individual having alternative motives though. And that's what you necessarily picking up. That's what you're picking up. So for the most part, that's what you're second guessing. You're guessing one thing when you're around this individual, but behind closed doors, there's something else going on that you may be not privy to. You're not understanding. You know what I'm saying? You're not aware of. And for the most part, this person is very aware of it. You see what I'm saying? And depending on how strong the energy is that you feel when you get when you're around this individual um, of that happen to second guess that's how much they are emotionally invested into whatever that you are unaware of that you're trying to guess. And put and put that as the reason why they may not necessarily be back and supporting whatever you got going on. So keep that in mind also. So, yeah, this at the end of the day, it's a waste of motherfucking time. So that's what I want individuals to know. Also, it's a waste of time being around individuals that you have to constantly guess because they also they always got you um, second guessing them. So you always got to have in your own mind guessing what's going on with them in some way, shape or form because they got you in a constant state of second guessing, a.k.a. they may present to you certain actions to make you feel certain convictions and confirmations in certain areas. But when they're not in your when they're not in your presence, when they're not in your presence, they put you in a situation where now you're second guessing because the energies that you're feeling and things of that nature may not be correlated to the energies that they actually showed you or expressed in some way, shape or form. So it leaves you in a it leaves you in a fog to second guess because you're trying to decipher an aura that you're picking up. And depending on how broad and how big the aura is, that's how gonna, that's going to that's going to be how much energy that you start to feel like. um that's going to be how much energy that you're going to start to receive that make you feel like you have to second guess this in, uh, this individual. And then it always leads into a big waste of time because you end up wasting uh, your days and your life 
trying to guess something that you may not never be able to have confirmation with. And you may only realize that you just wasted time and surrounded yourself around the wrong individuals and things of that nature. So keep that in mind also. So, you know, be careful. Try not to be around people that you constantly have to second guess all the motherfucking time. Because nine times out of ten, that's a reason why you have to second guess it. And they know more of that. They know more of that reason than you do. So instead of you wasting your time trying to figure it out, you might as well go ahead and cut those individuals off. Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. Eee.